and he is way ahead in his effort to wrap it up today. He has been tremendous all season, including five in his career. And there is Patterson returning the opening kickoff for the Vikings, and he brings it out just about to the 30-yard line, and 10 on the 30 to start the game. And the running back is Matt Asiata, picks up three yards, and will send it down to Christina Pink. Told you I haven't thought about it, but it's a business. I understand the money I'm owed, but I'd love to finish my career here. Thank you, Christina, on second down and eight, and the first pass is a completion to the running back, Asiata. The recipe for not making the playoffs for sure. Third down and three, Bradford with the quick pass, and it'll be caught for the first down by Kyle Rudolph. And Bradford has four wide receivers, including McKinnon. And Bradford with time, and going deep to Patterson, who makes the reception inside the 25. Deep one-on-one, -on -one. Cordero Patterson gets that one-on-one -on -one against Crevon LeBlanc and takes advantage. Here is McKinnon, and McKinnon picks up about four yards on first down. Stephon Diggs can down and six. In the red zone is Bradford and the Vikings. Nowhere to go, and he swings it out to McKinnon. McKinnon racing for the end zone, diving in, and touchdown! That didn't take long, did it? All plays will be reviewed, but they're going to check, see his feet, and if he got in, if he extended and got the ball passed, balls in bounce. That is a clear touchdown. Big play, the 39-yard pass to Patterson. That got him into the red zone to begin with, and the extra point is good. Deontay Thompson back deep for the Bears, and he'll let this one bounce out of the end zone, and the Bears will start at the 25. Now first down at the 25 for the Bears, and their first offensive possession is going to be a handoff to Jordan Howard. Second down and seven. And here is Howard, the impressive rookie, fifth round pick from Indiana, over a thousand yards. It'll be third down and five. After two Howard runs, and they're going to give it to him again. And this time Howard's going to get a first down as he gets beyond the 40-yard line before Eric Kendricks brings him down. A gain of 12. Braylon Addison, who was just signed last week, was in the game as a receiver. And this pass is going to be caught by Addison. And he goes out of bounds and may have a first down. It's a toe four. First down in Bears territory. And here is Howard again. Howard coming in needing 61 yards to break the franchise rookie rushing record. Second down and five. And this time it's an end around to Joshua Bellamy. First down for Bellamy as he charges inside. Cole Pruitt, the former Viking, the tight end was there. Now they go back to Howard, trying to go left. And Howard picks up good yardage. Very nearly five yards on the play. Pullers out in front, not only going in between the tackles. Play action. Forte, intercepted! Interception by Xavier Rhodes, going to his first Pro Bowl. Matt Asiata, the running back. Thielen lining up to the left, and the pit pass going out to the right side to Jarius Wright. And Wright is knocked out of bounds. Now the Vikings have a second down and six. Bradford has time, goes underneath and gets the first down, going to the reliable tight end, Kyle Rudolph, second leading. First down, and here is Asiata. Head down, picking up a few yards, and time for our first game break on the 27th. And Bradford getting out to Asiata, who has the first down, and Moore getting away with elusive play and gets big yardage there but before the pass rush and a first down. McKinnon has checked in now at running back, goes out as a receiver. Bradford once again gets away from a defender, will run it and get a first down. And now will go out of bounds close to the 30-yard line. This offense, they've got to help him out with chip help. Bradford already with 100 yards and a perfect day, but will hand off to McKinnon. So Bradford 7 for 7 and a handoff. Will he be when camp starts next year? They can't really count on him 
for sure yet as Asiata picks up a couple. Third down and three, and movement in the line, and it'll be against the Bears, and it will give the Vikings a first down. Terry McCauley, the referee. False start. Mm. Offense number eight. Five-yard penalty. Well, he caught it on Bradford. Being herky-jerky pointing anything, or that abrupt hut with the hands. So it's third and eight instead of a first down, and now the pass is caught, and it should be in a first down for sure here as Wright offensive lineman to play for Minnesota this year. Handoff is to McKinnon, and McKinnon bounces off a defender and gets close to the 15 before Jarrell Freeman. Situation where you've had to play 12 in the season. Second down and four, and here's McKinnon driving for the first down, and he gets inside the 10-yard line. Vikings threaten, don't forget their third and manageable where they had nine yards instead of 12 to 13 where they have been in. 11th play of the drive and looked like McKinnon just fell down after picking up one yard. And down in goal at the six, Matt Asiata is in the game and he is brought down and will lose a yard on the play thanks to Akeem Hicks left here, number 21. And there is the stutter count. Last time when it looked like Last time when it looked like the Bears were outside, they called a Third false down. start on Bradford's time. McKinnon Monday, lines yeah. up next to Bradford in the backfield. Bradford, quick pass and incomplete off the hands of Rudolph, but he's perfect in the field goal department. This will be a 21-yarder, looking to extend the Minnesota lead. And the kick is good. So Kai Forbath with a 21-yard field goal. Ron, Ryan Pace and John Fox put together. You think about Cody White here starting at 16th. Jordan Howard. <laughs> Leonard Floyd. Or Jeremy Langford is the running back here. And they get the handoff on first down. And he picks up a couple. Langford was the started when the season began go hurry up that's when matt barkley has been at his best this season and they don't have to wait till the second half pitch goes to langford off the right side and a fumble loose ball and the vikings may have it they do the recovery is made by anthony harris to hold that ball high and tight that's only friendly fire by mccoyle pruitt trying to block for him but you have to get your opportunity you know what jordan howard did Matt Asiata and a play fake. Bradford getting the rush, but the pass is caught by Kyle Rudolph. And Rudolph, who dropped what could have been a touchdown pass from the 22, a first down. Asiata gets hit immediately by Kwiatkowski. Good play by the linebacker. And for another game break, here's Carissa Thompson. Second down and 10. Red Ellison in motion to the left. And here is Bradford getting time, and the pass is caught by Rudolph. Breaks the tackle, gets the touchdown. Question whether Rudolph crossed the goal line. The ball was kind of behind him. And the knee, close, very close there. Was the knee down before the ball crossed the plane? That's the issue. That's a touchdown. Ball clears. Yes, it was. Early here in the second quarter, Horbath with the kick, and it's good. Out of hand. Meanwhile, Rudolph, with his 29th career touchdown reception, is the most by any Minnesota tight end, as the Bears now in a 17 to nothing hold. Meanwhile, the Bears trying to get back in it, and false start. Offense, number 70. Five-yard penalty, first down. But across from you. The last thing you want to be in is a third and long. Here is Howard. And you know the Vikings are going to say, look, we're going to make Matt Barkley beat us. Here's Howard. Keeps churning and gets it out to the 30-yard line before Anthony Barr makes the tackle. Third NFL team for him. Gets some time here and overthrows, and I'm not sure who is his intended target there. Alshon, Pat O'Donnell, Bunting, and Marcus Sherrills is deep. 
Vikings with a pair of outstanding return men. Here is Sherrills at the 21. Sherrills finding an opening. Good run down the sideline. Marcus Sherrills into Chicago territory and going out of bounds. <laughs> Vikings have scored on all three of their possessions so far. Play action and the pass thrown underneath to Rudolph. And Rudolph, hard to bring down. Had on him affect the way that he's playing today. And they've averaged five yards a rush, which is a lot better than they've done all year. Here is McKinnon, and they're going to have that number drop a little bit as he's knocked back for a loss of two by C.J. Wilson. Signed on Friday, there he is, number 15, has come in the game. So they are looking at some players. A couple of pump fakes for Bradford being chased down. And this pass incomplete, trying to get it to Rudolph, the lowest in their history. Fourth down, and Jeff Locke. Fair catch, called for, and made at the 15 by Braylon Addison. And they go with Howard. Doesn't need much of a hole, and breaks a few tackles and gets a first down great run by Howard there 2015 the last time he was on the field they already clinched home field advantage and a first down Howard up the middle and protecting the ball nicely picking up nine yards so the lion loss second down and one why stop here here's Howard and he'll have enough for the first down little wildcat here they go to Addison on the wildcat Addison trying to get around the corner and doesn't do a bad job of it. Picks up a few and the flag is down. Haven't had many penalties in this game. Holding. Offense number 82. And it'll be Logan penalty. Paulson, the tight end, called for holding to the disgust of John Fox. Comes back in the game after that Wildcat got four yards before the penalty. And there is Barkley and his pass is caught at the 42-yard line. And the first catch of the game by Cam Meredith, who down in six from the 42 for the Bears. And they give it now to Howard, and he's going to get that rookie record and a lot more as he charges his way into the Viking territory to the 41-yard line. Worked, but their own penalty hurt them and put them back. And here's Langford getting a chance, fumbled in his last carry, and gets upended as he picks up about four yards. Second down and six. And Langford again following his blocks, but doesn't get much. Maybe a yard is all. And Linval Joseph, who you pointed out when we looked at the Viking. They finally get an opportunity down 17 to nothing. Matt Barkley gets some time, and the pass is incomplete. Double covered. And here is the pass, and it is caught. And it's enough for the first down to Meredith. <laughs> Hand off is to Howard. And Howard pushing the pile, getting inside the 25-yard line on first down. Down and five. One twenty. We're done. Howard. And he gets another first down. What a terrific runner. And and a first down on the 18 for Chicago trying to get back in it. And there's a way to do it. And another first down for Jordan Howard putting on a show. Longest run was on the third snap of the leg is down. Offense number 71. Ten yard penalty. First down. So Josh Sitton, the left guard, holding. And that may be why Howard had that hole to run. To the left. Now Bellamy moves play action and on the screen pass it's Langford and Langford inside the 10 and runs in to Jeffrey and a Viking defender. Really think about it Matt Barkley has not been really sacked and abused this year. First and goal on the four and here is Langford cutting that in half to two as we get close to the two minute warning. And it's Jordan Howard. And Howard will make it third down and goal from about the two. Now lining up behind Barkley in a direct snap. And here's going to be a pass all alone for the touchdown. Cam Meredith throws the touchdown pass 
to Barkley. Great sell by Matt Barkley and, and Langford because you know they know what they're running. They're trying to sell everything. You see him bringing them in into motion. Uh, uh, great play design and, and very nice deception. And the kick is perfect. And it's now 17 to 7. It happened. They had a holding call to bring it back. This time they were able to do it down in the goal line and come away with the touchdown to stop the bleeding. Kick out of the end zone. I'd say they have a little bit of fun when they're on that show. A little bit indeed. Bradford from the 25 swings it out to McKinnon. Good fake he puts on the defender. And uh, close to the first down. Block my view. You got to remember when you're up here, you're always on camera. <laughs> I, I know that. I should I should have known that. Pass is caught by Jarius Wright. Third reception of the game for Wright. Worked a lot last year. Worked all of last year. And now uh, he finished again this year. It's a pleasure for me as well. The 40. Vikings looking for points before intermission. Bradford can't find a receiver downfield and will take off himself. A flag goes down. And Bradford would slide close to the first down in midfield. Offense number 78. Ten yard but penalty. Jeremiah Searle is the right tackle. What he's been dialing up on the offensive side of the ball. Now second down and 20. Four man rush on Bradford. And Bradford gets hit as he lets it go. And nearly picked off. It was a short hop. Right here will be third down and 20 for Minnesota. 116 on the clock. And the Bears will call their first time out. Chicago. So now each team with two timeouts remaining. Third down and 20. Bradford's pass is caught, but knocked out of bounds is Rudolph. Jeff Locke will be kicking to Braylon Ed Addison. Addison coming up and the ball bounces off of him and it's picked up by the Vikings, but does he have possession? And the Vikings do. The previous play is under review. And John Fox shaking his head. He's been doing a lot of that other than in that scoring drive by the Bears. Here's the best look. Remember, it has to be indisputable to overturn the ruling that it was recovered by the Vikings. Is a close one. It's hard to see if that body's really up or the ball is really up against his body or if it's rolling off. It's a tough call, you're right. A very tough call. In New York, and here comes McCauley. After review, the ruling on the field stands. First down, Minnesota. So they really didn't have any indisputable lots left in time on the clock. And now the Vikings on the 21. Jarek McKinnon picks up a yard and Good interior defense that time by Sam Acho, down an eight. Clock running, nearly a half a minute to go in the first half in the past. Bottled and dropped by Jarius Wright. So it's now third down and eight. Vikings are in field goal range. Bradford with a lot of time, and this pass is going to be ruled a catch and a first down. Let's see. First and goal. And watch Adam Thielen is who they like to target here down in the red zone. And they do. And written out of bounds at the two-yard line by Rhodes here for Adam Thielen. Practically the walk-on that they have. And here is the rollout of the pass. Touchdown, Jarius Wright. That's one of the big points for that. Kai Forbath is on for the extra point. And so the Vikings, who had their lead cut. We also call that a submarine route. Sometimes you see receivers get the jet sweep in that same motion. This time they're able to get it on a pass. And the five-yard line. So twin returners. And here is Thompson who's going to run it out. Thompson straight ahead. Thompson. And finally knocked out of bounds after a terrific run by Isaac. Seconds to go and a first down on the 42-yard line of the Vikings. Matt Barkley fires and it is caught by Cam Meredith. This will be a 29-yarder 
And Connor Barth. The field goal is good, so the Bears get some points back. No flags down. In this football game here in the second half, he does not have a catch, and this could be his last game in a Bears uniform. Down by Deontay Thompson. Boy, it's beating a drum to say we got to stop beating ourselves, and the Bears can't help that as Howard on the first play will pick up a first down, stays on his feet. He's putting on a great exhibition today. 100-yard production game this year. Play fake to Howard. Barkley going to the outside, completes it to Jeffrey, and I believe he has the first down. Let's see. You know, like we said, getting Alshon Jeffrey involved, obviously the first catch of the second half, but have to give the Bears a lot of credit, not only running in between the tackles, but they're setting the edge on those outside sweeps with their pullers. And that's not going to get it done for the Viking defense. Second down and five on the 42 of Minnesota. Here's Howard again, finds a little opening, and will get another first down. Lightford will come in for him, and it's a first down on the 36, and a false start penalty against the Bears. Charles Leno Jr., the left tackle. Ball start. Offense number 72. Five-yard penalty. First down. Barkley has thrown an interception. Has also caught a touchdown pass today. First down and 15. Play action. And there's the pressure. And the pass is going to be caught by Langford. And despite Eric Kendricks finally reaching, Barkley's numbers have been a lot better, haven't they? And here's Langford again. Breaks the tackle. And we'll have a first down close to the 20-yard line. Football game. And wins by one, two, three, four, five teams. I don't know. Play action for Barkley. And Barkley's pass is caught at the 20-yard line by Michael Pruitt. First possession of the third quarter. And the end around to Bellamy. And getting it right in there was Eric Kendricks. And Barkley's pass, and that one's going to be picked off. And interception. It looked like the Bears may do something. A couple of fumbles on top of that, and the Vikings begin from the 11-yard line, and a mix-up in the backfield, but Bradford recovers, gets it out to right. Can't rely on that for that penalty. Decision-making, that's the key for any quarterback. And here is McKinnon. And McKinnon gets it out for a couple of yards. From the 16, Sam Bradford's pass caught by Rudolph, and the tight end setting team records today. Gets a first down shy of the 30-yard line, and a flag is down. Personal foul roughing the passer, defense number 96. Contact to the head. And a team Hicks automatic first down. Call for roughing the passer. All split wide left. At the bottom of your picture, they run the ball to McKinnon, breaking the tackle, and... McKinnon picking up a couple. Second down and six for Bradford. Quickly gets it out to McKinnon. And a good tackle made that time by Adrian Amos. Bradford. And it is caught for the first down and the first reception of the game for Charles Johnson. And 211 yards through the air for Sam Bradford. And on first down, gets it downfield, tipped away by Harold Jones Corte. Back today for the Vikings, this is, or for the Bears, this is the eighth play of the drive. And it's McKinnon, who gets a hole, and close to the first down. Jarrell Freeman grabbed a hold of his shoulder, but in feeling going in motion on third down and one. Play fake to Asiata, and they go underneath to who else? Kyle Rudolph, it's his day, isn't it, as a receiver? Breaking the ball today for the tight ends. First and ten. Bradford swings it out to Asiata. And Asiata moving corner as he runs. Pretty good job of physical play. Will end up with about nine yards. Now second down and one. Nice to have the short yardage situations. Asiata moving the pile. And he will have another first down for the Vikings. McKinnon ready for the direct snap to him on first down. And he hands off to Asiata, but that's not going to work. No gain on the play. Some of your picture. Bradford looking up the middle. Incomplete. Pass intended for Rudolph. How good has Bradford been on third down?
through the air. Needs 10 here. And it's going to be picked off by Craven LeBlanc on the pass intended for Patterson. Trying to get a touchdown, and LeBlanc had other ideas, so the Bears, after their first takeaway, seems like ages, giving the ball to Jordan Howard with 2.15 to go. Continues because they need to to help out this offense. Second down and six. And here's a handoff to Howard. Howard will get another first down. Looked like he was going to be stymied. Clemens, by the way, or Heck Hendricks, by the way, back in the game for Minnesota. And the handoff to Langford. And Langford picks up three yards. Brightest spot of uh, all on this Bears team. Here's Langford trying to go right and follow some blockers. But the Vikings have other ideas. And it'll be a Barkley will hand it off to Howard. And I think he didn't get to the imaginary yellow line, not official at all. Able for anywhere for the back to go. And the flip goes to Howard. And here's Howard straight ahead and close. Close to 10. Sam Bradford in the pocket completes it to Rudolph. Great day for Rudolph, and we're down before the first down marker. Second down and five, and this pass downfield, and it's Rudolph again inside the 15. Great throw and catch, Freeman on the tackle. Uh, to Minnesota to take over as the quarterback of this offense. And here's Asiata changing direction. Bounces off the tackler, gets close to the 10 before Jarrell Freeman coming up. There is... Bradford is the receiver, and here is McKinnon with the keeper. McKinnon scores for the Vikings. His second touchdown. Score again. Read option. He's going to read the defensive end. He sees that he plays down inside. He sees over the top. You see another player right here. Amos come down inside. He sees the clear lane outside, and Adam Thielen's interim offensive coordinator. He is proving that he deserves the right to come back, not just because of his comfort and his background with Sam Bradford, but the way he's been able to do it this year. He won. They had 31 against the Texans back in October in a 31 to 13 victory. Deontay Thompson will run it out from five yards in the end zone, and Thompson. Is tackled by J. Ron Curse. Going to be one of the big decisions that the Vikings have to make. A first down, and Barkley's pass is going to be caught, and a first down to Daniel Brown, the tight end. And that is a big deal for Sam Bradford to have that much experience and that ability to come in, learn this offense, and play at a high level. Howard will have another first down, but a flag is down at the 40-yard line. There are two fouls on the play. Holding, defense number 90. Pass interference, offense number 85. The penalty's offset. First down. All right, Kurt, to the delight of Robert Kraft and his family. First and 10, Matt Barkley fakes once, completes it to the tight end, Brown. And Brown is tackled by Captain Munderlin after a game. He's at his best and most accurate as a quarterback. Second down and four. And the handoff is to Howard, trying to go outside, breaks the tackle. It's not easy to bring down, may get about half a yard. If the Bears don't go for it on fourth down if they fail here. Third and three, Barkley stepping up, and Barkley goes down. I think it's, they're going to rule it down by contact, but they haven't done that yet. It's a loose ball, no signal is given, and it's going to be run in by Everson Griffin for the touchdown. you got to play on. No, it came out. That is a fumble. It came out. It was Joseph who forced it. The crowd would like to roar. Give the announcement. Yes, it was a touchdown by Griffin. And Kai Forbath for the extra point. Comes a 20-yard fumble recovery and touchdown. And Forbath adds the extra point. Just under 10 minutes to go in the season for the Vikings and the Bears. Deontay Thompson on the return from the end zone for Chicago. Runs into a wall and is stopped shy of the 20-yard line. So fails. Becomes the fourth quarterback for the Bears this year. 
And the handoff is to Jeremy Langford for a couple of yards. Jay Cutler and Brian Hoyer. No need to say the Bears need a quarterback. Bales completes the pass to Cam Meredith. And that will be a first down out to the 34 with 12 turnovers in his last three games, 10 interceptions and a pair of fumbles. For the USC free agent, this one will be not caught by Bellamy. National champion says it all. Second and 10. Hand off Langford, maybe a yard. There's Kendricks again. New quarterback in the third and 10. You want to get pressure on him. That's what they're doing. They do, and down he goes. You can't switch to nobody. You have to make sure your right tackle is in the same thing as you. Let him go free. Robinson has a huge set. Pat O'Donnell's kick. And he's returned by Marcus Sherrills. His third appearance started the opener against Tennessee. Bradford was on the team, but not ready to do his thing yet as McKinnon carries and gets a couple of yards on first down. He would pose in different areas. <laughs> Home for us. Hill handing off to McKinnon. Hill fell down, but it doesn't matter. McKinnon did not fall down. And it takes, it takes a village to bring down Jared McKinnon, doesn't it? To take over the helm, and Hill did not make a turnover. It led the Vikings to the win over Tennessee in the first game. McKinnon again off the right side, getting a couple. Raids, and that's where now they lost their number one pick, and now in the 2017 draft, but... McKinnon. But they're excited because they have two number twos and two number threes that they... More than Teddy Bridgewater, for sure. Third down and four, and McKinnon is going to be stopped for a loss, and that was Jonathan Bullard, the third-round pick from Florida. Results... And there's always pressure when you're in a city like that to get the job done and get it done as soon as possible. Fourth down and seven. Redskins need a win by the Giants and no tie anywhere else. As we get to the final chapter here is Jeremy Langford on a screen pass close to the first down near the 44-yard line. First round by. Right behind Dallas. First down and ten. Fails. Trying to get it to Deontay Thompson, incomplete. But I know everybody's excited to watch that NFC North game tonight between the Packers and Lions. And a fumble by Howard, and he recovers. Well, you were in a position when the Giants just barely made the playoffs. Then you can talk about it. Until then... All right, I'll ask you some other time. Pass is incomplete, intended for Cam Meredith. Or the one who dictate the tempo of a football game, say you're not one-dimensional. Pat O'Donnell kicking and Marcus Sherrills with the fair catch inside the 15. A two-minute warning and just a matter of time. Well, it's our time to thank our traveling crew for their efforts all season. Elisa Arden, Bob Charlap, Keith Dornellis. Technical director is Gabe Bell. The broadcast associate is Jason Hurd. And our associate director is Craig DeVasker. Our director, Wayne Wilson, and our producer, here in the upper Midwest. You see Kyle Rudolph hugging Chad Greenway, the longtime linebacker who may be That's retiring right. after this season. Good chance. Greenway has been terrific. Today, Rudolph had 11 catches, 117 yards. Great game for him. Howard in a losing cause had 135 yards on the ground. Bradford may win the completion, all-time completion mark.